Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to take a look here and see what crude oil is doing and Natty Gas is doing. And then today we're going to look at uh, a couple of my favorite trades. Uh, first one's going to be NVIDIA, NVDA, and then the ETF for the NASDAQ TQQQ. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell the stock amount ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now you can see here, you popped up nicely here above the 8 SMA here, but so far, you know, you gotta be able to hold it. Right now, real time price here is sitting at 82.72, and your eight day is 82.78, so we're just below, okay? So we got a high is today here so far of 83.74, so what you do, you just look right to the left of the chart here. What do you have? Uh, 83.64, so you came in within 10 cents of that. Now. Uh, next level there is going to be 83.93, and then we come up here, you have 84.38, and then you have 84.52, but it looks like uh, Okuda here is just a uh, wet and wild situation, okay? So that's what we want to watch there on the upside. The key level, key level, key level is this eight-day SMA here, 82.78. You have to close above, then we can ratchet it higher. Now, downside... What we want to watch here is you want to watch here at the top of these candles here. Okay, so you have 82.66. Uh, we have, uh, what do we have here? You have uh, 82.48, and then we have 82.32, and then we come down to the bottom of yesterday's candle. That's sitting at 81.63, and then there, 21 day here at 81.41. That is going to be the key level here, okay? So you can just follow these candles here, but realistically, this is what we're trading is this 8 SMA here. 82.76, and we have this 21 SMA here, 81.40. So are we going to keep bouncing in the center here, or are we going to crack around and go higher? Well, that's still yet to be determined. So RSI here still looking good. Uh, your green here is still, you know, they're kissing here. It's not, it didn't go below it. It didn't go like this here yet. It's where we have that massive sell-off. So, so far, is yeah, pretty good here on the trading. Now, UCO had a really good trading day here so far because we had a low of 33.65 our regular time and 34.11 here on the uh, uh, on the high side. So that's all you know working out here pretty good. Uh, however, the key 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 is going to be watching this a simple moving average to see if we can close above. Okay, that's going to be very very critical. Again, watch that and then watch this 21 day 81.40. Are we going to just going to keep bouncing around here? Or we're going to have a clear uh, break of this here and stay above that 82.76. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas. Now, you can see here we had a low here today of, um, let's see, 2.249. Okay, so I just looked to the left of the chart. What, do we, what did I say right here? Okay, this is your support level. Okay, that's, I mean, this right here, this one right here. Okay, 2.242. That's key. And then we're going to go right here at 2.21. And then we're going to follow the candles here. you got 2.16. Then we have 2.15. But realistically, this 100-day, 2.17, that is the key. Okay, so just look to the left of the chart here. All your resistance and all your uh, support levels are sitting right here for your uh, natural gas. Now, key to the upside is going to be this 8 SMA here. So, so far, we're still below it. We have a little bit of a green candle today after these three reds. However, so far, we made a lower low and a lower high. That's really nothing to write home about, okay? So, uh, UNG had actually a little bit of scalping today. Uh, we had uh, 15.19 on the bottom and 15.63 on the top. I got in there a little bit late, but I did make 25 cents on, on UNG here so far. So, I'm happy with that. I haven't scalped any KOLD. Uh, nothing yet. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen if we can get above this eight simple moving average at 2.356. Okay. If you can, then we'll just look to the top of this candle, looking at 2.385, and then we have 2.44. But this is what we're looking for is that 2.45, that 200 SMA, which is going to be like a brick wall. Look at here. Okay. You already had two times right there. And then again, if it can get above 2.56, and then we have 2.61 uh, uh, is your 21 SMA here, okay? But right now, we just have sideways actions. It's really nothing that you want to go there and take big trades on, you know what I'm saying? I just tra I knocked my trade down to 3,000 shares, 25 cents. That's good enough here for natural gas here on a Friday. I'm going to wait till next week to see exactly what is happening. So for today, obviously, what you want to do is just watch today's low. That's that 2.24. Uh, we want to watch this uh, 2.26 level, okay? Right there, that's going to be key that we need to close above. 2.24, if that's lost, then you can come down to the 2.17 here very, very easily. Okay, but watch that 2.26 on a closing basis, 
very, very critical. And upside, watch that 2.356. You need to get above that, then we can go higher. Right now, nothing. Now, RSI here, there's no divergence here. There's no nothing here. This is just sitting there riding the bottom uh, uh, coattails, nothing really happening. This here is still bearish, your green below your red. Uh, there's no turn. You got to get above that 8 SMA, then we go higher. So just trade this range. It's getting really, really tight now. So it's going to be a matter of time before she breaks up or she's going to break right on down. Okay, let's take a look here at NVIDIA. Okay, NVIDIA, this is one of my favorite trades. Now you can see yesterday it was hammer time. Okay, so I say, well, why, why, why did it sell off from there? Well, all the tech sold off, but then again, when you look at this high, okay, you're looking at 136.15, but always look to the left of the chart here. What do you see right here? Okay, 136.33. That was your resistance levels. It could not get through to go to that next level. So that tells you that you got to sell, okay, and this came right on down very, very nicely. Now, uh, yesterday here in pre-market, I think it got as low, I mean, after market, it got as low as I believe it was the... Uh, 126.42, uh, I got in at 126.75 and I'm still holding it uh, right now here for a scalp. Now, I am a, I'm a long-term trader, I have a long position in NVIDIA, okay, but I also scalp it. So yesterday I sold it and then I rebought it back at the end of the day in the aftermarket there, 126.75 and I'm still holding it. Now, what we're looking for here is this eight SMA for support levels, okay? 128.63, very, very critical. And then we have the 21 day, 127.72. These two here are your critical on a closing basis, okay? 127.72, and then that eight day, okay? 128.62, uh, uh, very, very critical on a closing basis. If that is lost, then we can start coming down to the red bottom of these levels here. Okay, you're looking at 125.68, we have, uh, uh, 121.36, and we can come all the way down to this one at 118.83 uh, very, very easily, or even all the way down here, that 118.04, okay? Or you could drop that, and you can come down to 112.75. But as long as you're holding this this 21-day uh, here and the 8 SMA here, this got a good shot to go higher. Now, we look at today's high. We had 131.05. So what we're going to do is you look right on to the left here. You had 130.77. Okay, we're above that. Then you can come to the next level here, 133.82, and then we can come up here, you have 135.10, and then yesterday's high at that 136.15. Uh, you blast above that, and then we're gonna come right over here to the top here, 136.33, and then 140.76. A break of that, you're going to 150, just that simple, okay? So for today, watch this key 21 day, watch that key eight SMA, if that holds, then next week here, this could go resume that higherness, Go ahead and hire this. What kind of word is that? Anyway, you could go all the way up to that and maybe retest that 140.76 level. Okay, next in line here we're going to take a look is that TQQQ. Okay, TQQQ. Now, this is my favorite trade for the NASDAQ because this has everything in it. You've seen, heard me talk about this one a lot of times. This one also has the NVIDIA on it. It has Tesla on it. It has Netflix, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, the whole nine yards. It has it right in here, okay? Now, you can see the big sell-off that we had yesterday, but actually this was a nice buying opportunity because yesterday's high, you had 85.06, and then here it uh, you close at 78.70, okay? So what I was watching here on this level is right here, this is what we're looking at is uh, 77.72, okay? So you can see how that held it. And today we have an inside day. So as soon as it took off here today, I just went long here on TQQ. Now you had a pretty good stretch here. You got as low as 79.29 and a high of 82.06. Uh, I didn't get to 79.29, but I'm in at 79.50 right now. So what I'm watching is this eight simple moving average at 81.07. It needs to really to hold that, okay? And then what we do, if it can, then we'll look at, uh, like say, uh, we look at today's high, looking at 82.08, uh, and then we can just keep on stretching this thing all the way on up here, okay? So you have 82.47, then we'll have uh, 83.49, and then we can come up back to your retest there at 85.20 uh, level, okay? This key level here is gonna be this 8 SMA, 81.05. Now, if it falls off, you want to watch yesterday's low. That's going to be very critical. That's 78.7, 70, and then we can come all the way down here to 76.92. But now, when you look at this chart here, you can see this, you know, how you're holding this 8 SMA, and then when it loses it, what does it do? It holds that 21 day. Look at that, how nice it is, okay? So this is a very, very good pattern, okay? You have a good bottom left, upper right. Look at that. 8 SMA, 21 SMA, 
50 SMA, look at your 100 day and your 200 day. Everything is ripping up here. Very nice. We just had a little bit of correction yesterday on that um, uh, a CPI uh, report. Okay. Came out really good. However, now when you look at today with the PPI report, phew, man, I mean, inflation is right back in there. And that's all the, that's actually the producer price index. Okay. So inflation is in there. It, it would actually double what they thought it was going to be. And they revamped the numbers from last month. And that was even higher. So anybody thinks that the Fed's going to cut here like in July, uh, you are way wrong. Maybe September, maybe at the end of the year, but nothing here like they're going to be cutting here in July. That, that's for sure. Because you look at that report, now they have to wait for the next one to come out next month to see exactly what's happening. But then there, if there's any revisions on that CPI report, phew, I mean, you can might as well just forget about it, okay? Because inflation is still here. Don't let anybody tell you any different, okay? Just get out of your freaking house. Go to a grocery store, go to a car lot, go price a motel room, go to a gas station, go to a car lot, okay? Go buy a house, okay? <laughs> go look to rent something. Let me tell you something. Inflation is, is still here. Okay, so TQQ, today we want to watch this key 8103 on a closing basis. And then if that's lost here, you can come all the way down to this uh, 7691. If it rips up here, we're looking at that retest at 8520. Okay, that's what I got for you. And I'll be back here uh, uh, for mid uh, or after the uh, pits close, and we will review crude oil and natural gas. Uh, now, remember, the rig count will be out today at 1 p.m. on crude and natty. All right, thanks for watching.